Hey Virgo, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your third week of February general love reading. Now, keep in mind this is a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you like a personal reading, all of the information we left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today and I hope that you guys are doing well, so for my Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals, when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the sun that I got was, um, what do we have here? You're going to make me love somebody else by the Jones girls. Now, there was, I feel like it was one. One of them, one of the individuals that I didn't get their sign, but from the ones that I did get, you have an Aries, a fellow Virgo, and a Sagittarius. I think that might know. That's three. I think it was a trio. So yeah, Aries, Virgo, and Sag. Someone rise to Venus individual. And of course, because this is a Virgo reason, reading, okay, I'm here reason. <laughs> Somebody's giving you a reason to want to love somebody else or move on, okay? Um, and because one of, you know, one of the members in that group is a Virgo or was a Virgo, because I don't know if this person passed, but, and this is a Virgo reading, I feel very much like this is you. Like, you know what? <laughs> You gonna make me love somebody else if you keep on treating me the way that you do. That's the hook of the song. I feel like for a lot of y'all, Virgos are very well known for being very loyal, extremely loyal. You guys are earth signs. You guys want the stability. You want the long term. You're not here to play games for the most. Like once you get into your your era, your relationship era, where you're ready to settle down, it's it's just strictly go time, moving towards the future with your long term connections. And I feel like someone feels as though they can keep playing back and forth. You know, keep playing yo-yo with you or they feel like you're so loyal that you'll never leave them but they don't know virgos do they i'm a virgo rising baby and i i look if you know you know so <laughs> let's see what we get for my virgo sun moon rising and venus individuals yeah because i keep hearing you gonna make me love somebody else if you keep on treating me the way you do i feel like someone doesn't know how to i'm getting a couple things someone doesn't know how to date and that may be your love language like i like to be dated i like to be like i like to be courted rather. Um, and then also communication. Virgo is ruled by Mercury, which is communication and mental. For some of you all, it's like, all I ask of you is for it. Now I'm hearing all I ask. Um, I'm hearing a part of a deal song. All I ask, if this is my last night with you, something about more than friends. Give me there's something I could. I'm hearing that, that a deal song. Tell me if this is the last night with you. Hold me like we're more than friends. Something like that. If you know the song, leave it in the comment section below. And if you if you don't know the song, listen to it. If like look in the comment section, you guys know I'm always in the comment section. I always I always respond. I always, you know, comment back. I always read the messages. But um I'm hearing that also. Now, because I'm hearing that song, it's making me think about if this is my last night with you. Some of you guys have already checked out emotionally. You know, I feel like it's like, okay, I've asked over and over and over again for what I want. You tell me to tell you what, what I want. You tell me to tell me what I need. And I tell you, you're still not giving it to me. So you're going to make me love somebody else if you keep on treating me the way that you do. Because I'm telling you what I want. And I do feel like Virgos are very straightforward. I don't know a, a Virgo who is, not, <laughs> who is not very direct. If anything, of all signs, Virgos are so sometimes painfully direct that you guys don't even know it. Again, my rising is a Virgo and I have to check myself sometimes because I can be so blunt that it can come off as hurtful. But again, because my rise, you know, that Virgo is associated with Mercury, which is a mental, I, I can peep that, I can acknowledge that. And I'm a Gemini sun, so I have that double, you know, Gemini energy or, or Mercury energy rather. So I feel like I can get it. But some people, man, Virgos, y'all have a hard time, you know, you kind of got to tame it down or you feel like for a while you haven't tamed it down because you are aware of how blunt and how hurtful sometimes things can come off, even if you don't try to. So you may have been biting your tongue about stuff, but then it's kind of like, yeah, I can't bite my tongue anymore because I'm not getting what I want out of this connection. Now, if you are completely single, this could be something that you've been through already, and that's why you're single, and it's like a reflective time, time for you to realize, okay, it got too far to the point where things exploded because you were keeping things to yourself. You have to go into new relationships already saying like, this is what I want. Just put it out, out there on the table so there's no confusion later on. Okay. So we're going to go through the deck. Let's get your major arcana, which happens to be the hermit. We'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after. And then we'll get clarifiers for those cards. Currently. At the bottom of the deck, yep, <laughs> I'm telling you. What did I just say about communication? So for some of you, I was like, this person don't think you'll cut them off. He's locked and loaded. Look at his sword. He got a sword in his hand. Like, look, I will cut you smooth the hell off. And again, I'm going to say something with communication because swords is communication and mental. Some of you guys already got people right there waiting, just waiting 
in the West Wing. Someone may stay on the West Side of wherever you live, or the address could be like three sixty nine West so and so place. You know, I'm somebody something with West because I I don't say stuff like that. So, but I'm hearing somebody could be saying. Like waiting in the West Wing, just waiting for you to be single, waiting for you to be available. Someone also could work in the West Wing of a building. There's a building that faces West also. I'm getting that's very specific. I, I'm not really good with directions like that, except for like spiritual stuff. But like actual direction, streets and stuff, I'm not very acclimated to that. So I definitely know this is a specific message for someone. Yeah, whew, and then I said the directions. Okay, the world car travel this is for moving something with the west, west side, west wing. Oh my god, I said west wing, and all these characters have wings. So someone stays like in the west wing of an apartment complex or a condo or something like that, and also someone in a building, a work environment, their their corner office or their unit or something like that is on the west part of the building. Very interesting. And here's the thing that's so tripped out is like you may have not have known this, but something may happen like coming up where you have to fill out some paperwork or there's something with a location that says West so-and-so. Something like that is going to come up for some of you all. Someone's also traveling to the West side or you travel to the West side to see this person. Something with the West, okay? Someone's last name may be West. Donna. Somebody's named Donna. Dondrea. Also, we just heard of Atlantis. Atlantis or Atlantis. Okay, bottom of the deck, the magician, your energy, Gemini and Virgo. You guys are manifesting new love. It's like, okay, you're going to make me love somebody else, and it's not going to be hard for you to manifest a new love because I am prime. Like, I feel like you guys are in your prime. Your energy is just stellar right now, and I feel like this person does not realize, like, they really don't understand that they are connected to a manifester and a, a very powerful person. The magician is quite powerful. They don't even know how powerful you are, and they're not giving you credit for it either. I feel like you're going to show them, unfortunately. So let's go through the deck. Again, we want the Hermit Net. That, that came up very soon. So this is something that you're going to be dealing with very soon. So right in front of you, yep, three of wands, looking towards the future. A new ship, a new relationship coming in. Absolutely. Could be with a fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries. Or you could be meeting someone in March, okay, because you have the three of wands here. You could be meeting someone in March during Aries season because you do have wands here. Right behind that, yeah, some of you guys have a new person coming in in Aries season or Aries individual has been expressing interest in you and you were trying to, you know, move forward with this person. You were trying to, you know, work things out and manifest the future with this person, but they're not getting it. You may have been blocking people out or not entertaining people all because if you were dealing with someone else already, someone could be born in the year of the snake. Either you or love interest. Also, you didn't want to be sneaky and, and you know, step out on someone. But I feel like some of you guys are going to be open to a new relationship is what I'm getting. I really get that. For a lot of y'all, it will be with a fire sign. Or you may meet someone in Aries season. You guys have options. <laughs> and there's a snake again. Okay, you got two snakes here. Someone is definitely born in the year of the snake. Or someone's like, I'm trying not to be sneaky. I'm trying to be honest. Or you may feel like your person is being sneaky. Okay, because you have this person there up under this cloak and it has that red caution, right? Again, I feel like a new person could be a fire sign for you. Or you may feel like you've already caught this person with someone who's who's a fire sign. And you gave this person a chance. You tried to work it out with them. But it's like you feel like they're still playing in your face. Okay? Seven of Cups, Illusion, Confusion, having options. Someone has options. You either have options or you someone was making you an option. I'm getting that also. Seven of Swords. I feel like some of you all may be deciding to cut someone off. Ace of Swords. Truth, clarity, knowledge, wisdom. It's also an energy of victory. I've just seen the lovers. <laughs> there you guys go again. I'm telling you, you guys are quite powerful right now. You got a lot of stuff at your disposal. Your, whatever you want to manifest is coming in. And the thing about it is coming in quickly. It's going to come in very quickly. Some of you all like, I want a partner who's passionate. I want a partner that's going to be serious and steadfast and all about me and they're going to be coming in very quickly could be august leo um march wow as so i said march you got three of cups three is march some of you guys got options also i'm going to say again some of y'all were dealing with people who were putting you in third parties some of you all may be thinking like interest you know entertaining a third party as well always put it where it applies but again as i was saying august leo march aries or you may be meeting someone in March during Aries season. Let's get a clarified for damn. 
And you got two cards. I'm taking them. This will be for the three of wands, and this will be for the um, eight of wands. So for your three of wands, you have the four of swords. Now, this pull back, retreat, go within, taking a break. And if you notice, of the four, there's three right over him again. You got the three of sword, three of wands here. And then of the four swords, there's three over him, but you got in reverse. I feel like you feel like you have been treated unfair with the justice card in reverse, Libra energy. You feel like, you know what, I tried to stay, I tried to pray on it, I tried to meditate on this situation, but I'm done. I'm done waiting. I'm ready to move on to something new. For a lot of you all, this, this is where you're... You are mentally the source of your communication and mental. For some of y'all, you already made this decision in Aquarius season, which we are currently still in right now. Because you feel like this person hasn't been treating you right. Upright justice is fair. You know, you're triumphant in whatever it is you're wanting or needing. And reverse is like something is unjust. The opposite of justice is unjust or unjust. Something not being fair. And that's a major concept. That's definite. So I feel like for a lot of you all, you're like, you know what? <laughs> if you ain't going to do right with me, I'm gone. I'm going to move around. And for a lot of y'all, you're not even going to tell this person, especially if you don't live with this individual, you're just going to cut it off. Like, you know what? If you can't treat me right, I'm gone. I'm gone. This, this makes me think about that video. He was like, I'm done. Cut the camera. Cut it. Just cut it. Like, the guy who was crying. It's like, somebody's like, I'm done. Some of you guys may shed, may have shed tears because you were just like, this is interesting because I don't know if I could find that meme. I'll try to leave it in the description box up on your video. But he's like, I'm done. Cut the camera. Cut it. I'm done. I'm gone. And you could tell he was humiliated. And I, feel, I just heard somebody may have felt very humiliated. Like somebody did something that was so embarrassing. Like something may have played out on social media. I'm even hearing like live. Like something may, somebody may have been on live and got caught up. Or said something that was very embarrassing. And of course that won't apply to everyone and I claim for that not to happen for you because I know how, like, that's traumatizing. But I do feel like someone is humiliated. And um, they're like, you know what? You don't even understand. I didn't have to stay here. I stayed here because I love you. I stayed here because I wanted to build with you. But I, I don't have to stay. I don't have to deal with this. That's what I'm getting. Also, there could be a Libra involved. A third party could be a Libra. Libra season, September, October time frame. So that may resonate for someone as well. Okay. So, Virgo, someone rising in Venus individuals. As always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. Click the notification button. And until next time, take care and be well. Bye.